Hello and welcome to GPTV on Tuesday the 10th of September. My name is Philip Kingston. And I'm Gary Peer. And Gary, how exciting is it? We're uh, in second weekend into the spring selling season. Yes. We have had the most phenomenal weekend last weekend. We had yeah. the most phenomenal weekend the weekend before. Yes. We've just finished the most incredible listing week. Awesome. I've had five espressos this morning, <laughs> so I am just pumped Wired. and excited. You're scary, Phil. Let's talk about the weekend that was because GPTV is going for too long and you just keep talking, you babble on, nonsense. People just want the facts, so just shut so up. So let's talk about the facts in the okay. marketplace, but before we do so, <laughs> talk about the facts, I have to wish you congratulations, Gary. You've Thank got you. your Carlton cap there. I have Phil, All I have. of the Carlton supporters have come out of the woodwork. Those the that only voice. went to see one game this year are now on, oh, the, I band, didn't. Oh, now on the bandwagon. Yeah. But what a great game. I watched most of the game, but I watched again last night, the last quarter, because if you'd only ever seen one game of football, that last quarter was unbelievable. Look, I just want to thank the AFL for being considerate to all real estate agents and having it on Sunday afternoon at 3.20, straight after our last auction with enough time Andrew to get Demetrio, there. thank you. We He's made the well. call. We gave you the call. We but, said, uh, can you do it for us? And you look, did. You're a great guy. We shouldn't even be there. Uh, thanks to Essendon for being caught cheating. Uh, thanks for Richmond for dropping the ball in the third quarter. Order. doesn't get more exciting go the mighty blues sydney will most likely crush us but it is our you're going to go glory. to sydney next week i can't go on saturday to sydney unfortunately philip but i'd like to but i can't but i will be watching i'll be tuning in on saturday night let's talk about the weekend in real estate phil because two weekends ago we were sitting on the couch saying we've done really well selling 12 or 14 and some of the people watching might have said well what about those other two vendors that didn't sell well, what a shame how exciting is that because hmm. we passed in uh, two properties that weekend which yes. was spring road yes. in caulfield south we a did. lovely two story yes. home which we ended up selling for more than the asking price and at yes. some time in gptv gary we're we'll going to talk about, talk about yeah. how we were able to get sales sold it doesn't happen every sold, day uh, for more than the asking price yes. and then we sold craddock avenue which was yes. really quite exciting gary because yes. we passed that in uh, on sunday yes. on a vendor bid we had a buyer come forward immediately after the auction yes. and put another ten thousand dollars on top of yep. the vendor bid now while this property's price is undisclosed we actually had an auction going backwards and forwards between two parties yep. for most of thursday afternoon not thursday afternoon most of Wednesday afternoon, That's right. yes. and we're able to conclude a sale there so far in excess of the past in price, it was fantastic. So when you're on GPTV saying to people, we don't think it's going to be long, they probably say, that's that Philip Kingston again, don't believe it. The reality is it's true. Yep. They all go, they all get sold. So the weekend, moving on to this weekend, yeah, just talk about Gary, we sold this, weekend. this weekend we sold 75% of our sales, Philip. We sold 12 out of 16. I'm not sure what the state auction well, result was. Well, the state yet. auction result was 74%. So uh, I'm not sure that it's 75% it. when we're 75% the industry is at 74 we can say down, we smashed the industry oh, right but we did it. beat it we did beat it let's talk about some of the options we haven't got time to go through all of them because we're trying to keep it short philip but we did start off on saturday uh, i was at an auction which, which i conducted with great pleasure and 10 30 on saturday morning in elsonwick in glen huntley road on the corner of car street philip one of your favorite cafes just there there's two of them there yep, isn't there absolutely uh, the pound being one of them and that one was passed in at 480 and sold for 490 uh, directly after the auction philip so that was very very good. Yep, well uh, done. We then moved on uh, to uh, a property in Alexander Street in uh, St Kilda East, Phil. Uh, that one was sold, was on the market at $430,000, sold for $468,500. And then, Phil, we went to Arthur Street in Caulfield North. Uh, that one, the reserve was seven ninety, dollars sold for $861,000. And I was at that auction, Gary. Uh, Lior Samuel did that auction. Yeah, I, had a, I had a break at that time, so I yeah, thought yeah. I'd go and check out Lior. Yep. He's a seriously good auctioneer, Lior. He's, good auctioneer. He's doing a really good job. Doing great. Uh, and uh, had some competitive bidding there. Great street, great, great property. 13 at 219 Alma Road, Philip, in East St Kilda. Uh, that one was sold. It was on the market. It was written about, actually, written up in The Age, saying it was a very long, drawn-out auction. So thank you, Catherine Cashmore, for saying that about our auction. I don't I take no, that that's a compliment. It. But anyway, it sold for five thirty-five and a half thousand dollars Phil, uh, and that was a action-packed auction with three buyers. But while I was there, you were in Edith. And some say you can't have your cake in Edith too, but some buyer oh, did, didn't they? You, you are so <laughs> funny, I've got to tell you. I laugh at my own jokes. You should, really, you should really put out an end of year, a Christmas, oh, uh, a Christmas um, a collation, of, collation of, of your funniest quips. jokes. Yeah. yeah, be a very short DVD that one. Uh, <laughs> Edith Street, yep, yeah, block of land, yep. um, and uh, we actually went into that auction knowing that with blocks of land, you, you never really know how much yeah. interest you've got Price because, because pe people don't really don't have to ring off. us. Yeah. Uh, but we did pass that in on a vendor bid, yep. and then immediately went into post auction negotiations with a party that was there, and yep. 
that got it away successfully? On Sunday morning, Philip, under the regime of a new Liberal government, uh, and uh, I'll we tell actually you haven't what, talked politics we haven't at, talked all at all on the show. But I tell you one thing, Phil: if you're a Collingwood supporter that votes Labor, you had a pretty bad weekend, didn't you? Uh, but let's talk about Beach Street because that was our first auction under Liberal government, and what happened? Well, Gary, we didn't sell okay. it, so that's the good Never news to, to GPTV viewers that yeah. it is the most fantastic property of its type, with views directly over Princes Park, still available, and I think Gary, with an asking price of one, one million three hundred ninety-five thousand dollars, great buying. Uh, in Wilgar Street, Philip, we had two apartments. They both sold. The first was uh, at four at forty-five Wilgar Street, a beautiful uh, older style apartment. We shot the St Kilda report there. For those people who watch GPTV, you should also be aware that there is a St Kilda and Bayside report that's on our internet that comes out regularly with Jeremy Rosen's presenting, with usually one or both of us or some yep. guests, and always interesting to know what's going on in St Kilda. But that apartment, Philip, had a reserve of five hundred and eighty-two thousand dollars and sold for six hundred and twenty-five thousand dollars. A uh, very competitive property. Garden Avenue, Glen Huntley, I went there with Leon and conducted that auction unit three at four Garden Avenue. We had three or four bidders going hammer and tong for that one, sold well above reserve but price undisclosed. And then Philip in York Street, the price is undisclosed. I was already in the train on the way to the MCG. What happened then? Okay, so the price is undisclosed, but I can say we had about 200 people at the auction. We held yes. that, yeah, a, a mixture of inside spilling out to the yeah. alfresco You made a lot of noise about that. Yes. Oh, great house, yeah. Gary. And a lot of people actually from GPTV came down to really? have a look at it. That I was did. interesting. And you were on the radio talking about with Glen Ridge yeah. Uh, yeah. on 3MP as yeah. well. Yeah. Um, well that's now we passed that yeah. in at $1 million $725,000. You do a good job at passing it in? And we sold the property after about half an hour of negotiations for, for a, a price well in excess of that. Yep. And I think that actually sets a new price record in Caulfield South for a property yep. of its type on that parcel of land. So great result. But once again, I want to just say um, Tag Interiors, which is T-A-G Interiors. Uh, yeah. The owner of that property is an interior designer. That's her company. Uh, yeah. She's got a website under construction, but if you want to get in touch with her, Tag Interiors, yeah. uh, I think it's taginteriors.com.au. If it's not, just get in contact with me uh, because you're a fabulous designer if you're looking for a designer for a home or a project. Well, that's the weekend that was, or at least as much we can talk about. But That was a bit of a plug for Tag Interiors. I've got another plug, Gary, because let's go from real estate to cars. Are now, you getting paid for no, this? No, this is a free no. plug. Okay. Um, I just want to talk about uh, my car went in for service, yes. um, which is pretty typical if you By drive. By the way, he is a bad driver, I've got to let people know. He's from the country, and all they worry about is sheep. You know, they have to hit sheep and get in there like out of the, yeah, out of the yeah, brakes yeah, when yeah. they get Anyway, I drive yeah. a Range Rover, and for those Range Rover drivers, you'll know that you spend you need quite it. a bit of time in the workshop. You need come, it, come, down, come, 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 come <laughs> with the car. Bills. So I rang my mates. I've got some mates at Lexus of Brighton, yes. a fellow by the name of Trent Housen, yes. who is a superstar salesperson down yes. there. Uh, a really nice guy as well. Uh, and He's the I, right housing, not I, the other side I, of housing. I rang Trent yeah. and I said, Trent, my car's going in for service. Have you got something sexy for me to drive? And he gave me a car for two days, <laughs> yeah. which was There's a line an, there, but which, I'll stay away from Which it was now. an ISF yeah. yes. Lexus. And I'm just going to show that up on screen. Ooh, if you very want nice, a seriously fast, mm. seriously schmick car, yep. give Trent a call at Lexus of Brighton yep. uh, and he will put you in this car for a day or two. Did you get proposition while you were driving it by many all men I, and women? All I can say is that if I bought that car, yep. I would have to get a chauffeur yeah. because I would lose my license in a second. Anyway, really? thanks to the guys at Lexus of Brighton uh, who are well in our area. They're yeah. a very entrenched dealership in our area, but that is not a paid plug. Do, I just want people to know Do that. viewers care? They, they want to hear about a real estate. Our, a lot of our clients drive yeah. Lexuses, yeah. so Oh, you know, go and Fair speak enough. to Trent. Yeah, okay. I shouldn't be so mean, should I? No. no. Let's talk about what's happening in the market this week because firstly, we have got this auction right here. This Saturday, there are no auctions. It is a very um, observed Jewish holiday, uh, the Day of Atonement. So that's Saturday out. But this Sunday... You'd have a lot of atoning to do, Gary, I would have thought, <laughs> knowing Sunday. what you get up to do in your Mate, private I, life. I need more than a day. I need about a month, uh, let alone you. Uh, let's talk about where we are right now, Phil, because this goes for auction on Sunday. And we are in Fitzgibbon Crescent. This is a lovely street. It's very nothing ever comes up for sale here. But how very about this home, Phil? Let's talk a bit about this it. This is the most beautifully renovated period home, Gary, and we're sitting in the kitchen meals family room overlooking a north-facing rear garden area that's beautifully terraced with the most gorgeous swimming pool. Uh, perfect street, perfect ori orientation, and a stunning renovation. 
and uh, you know you couldn't ask for better real estate in North Caulfield than this house, Gary. Well, it kicks off on Sunday at 10.30 a.m. Philip, you're, you have the honours here. I'm going to have an early night Saturday night. I think you should. Now, I noticed the vendor's got the most incredible coffee machine. So yeah. uh, I'm going to say to the vendor, who's not in the house as we speak, mm. but make sure the coffee machine's cranked up uh, and hopefully you'll be serving coffees to people that are coming through between 10 and 10.30 on Sunday morning. Philip, we have this one coming up also on Sunday at 11.30 a.m. This is a unit in Emma Street, which is a terrific address. And I like the units like this. Garden yeah. Avenue we sold. That was a unit very much like that. They're always in hot demand and they're yeah. always good. And we suggest you should come down and have a look at that one. But Phil, could there be a bigger auction than the one that we have here in Dundas Place, right in the heart of Albert Park, Philip, in the middle of all of the terrific amenities, and you've got the pleasure of doing that together with a conjunctional agent, which is called Finding the Best Agent, and they found us. Fantastic. I'm looking forward to that option, yeah. Gary. In fact, very cool, very groovy, very oh, good yeah. looking area, that whole And we've Albert had Park interesting area. people, we had football players down there, we've had all sorts of you know celebrities I think and I'm people. Mick up and you know, yeah. maybe even buy a new suit for that auction. Yeah, Gary. I think you should, Phil, because you haven't got, you know, got about 25 suits. You no, need 30, a few more. 36, actually. 36 suits in your I try to cap my wardrobe yeah. at 36 suits. Yeah, so very if sensible. I buy a new one, I'm yeah. going to have to get rid of one. You're very frugal when it comes to suit buying, yeah. Phil. Yeah. Uh, Dundas Place, we've got a face like this, Gary. You've got to distract from it. It's at 12.30 on Sunday, Philip, and it's going to be a big auction. Uh, we're looking forward to seeing you down at that one. Uh, Phil, we have got an apartment in Orong Road right near our office in East St Kilda. That one comes up on Sunday, also in the afternoon. Uh, that's going to be an interesting one. Uh, unit 8 at 333 Orong Road. Now, Jeremy Rosens is doing that one, and that's going to be at 1.30 p.m. Phil, on Sunday at 2.30, I'm closing out the weekend in Scott Street in Caulfield South, which is a terrific location. This is a home, a, a weatherboard home. Some people are considering it as land value only. Others are talking about renovating. Some are going to be renting it out. But a great position, Scott Street, a well-known street in the heart of Caulfield South, which is on the move, Phil. All right, that's enough about real estate, Gary. I'm going to okay. summarise the week by just quickly saying... Uh, it's interesting. We've got a new government. Yes. Tony Abbott is now our leader. Yes. Uh, and I think you can take that Carlton thing away. <laughs> okay. I am predicting, and this is not declaring my political stripes, but yes. I am predicting that the next three years in real estate is going to be pretty good. You heard it be first here. Because a change of government. Yeah. Uh, pretty good. I, I, think what is pretty good I, I, I think there's going to be some, I think people are just going to be feeling a little bit more confident. Yeah. Not that there was necessarily anything wrong with the last government, but we no. now have certainty for, ne for the next three years. And the people years. of Australia have spoken. Philip. And I think that's a that's good. Thing. I think that's a good thing. And Clive Palmer didn't get in. For those people that have are thinking about selling their house, Gary, yes. did you uh, vote for are, the sex party? We are rapidly. Do, I want to meet people that vote for the sex party. My actually. father was going to vote for the sex party. <laughs> is that, is that There's a whole story in that. Yeah, now you know. It all makes sense now. Yeah. Uh, if you're thinking about selling this spring, you do yeah. need to be in touch with us uh, pretty urgently because the year is rapidly drawing to a conclusion. We're already filling out our October, spilling into November, Gary. Yeah. Uh, there's a great feeling in the marketplace. Uh, buyers, we're having competitive bidding on, yeah. on just. A about every property we're putting to the market at the moment. So What's your father got to do with the sex party? That's what I want to know. Is that a synonymous thing with the Kingstons? It's Kingston been a big party. week in real estate. Yeah. It's been a big week in Australia. No I disrespect want, to the sex party. I want to say good luck to Tony yeah. Abbott. I want to say good luck to our new government yes. because so for, you, all, Kevin, for, thank all, you, for all Australians, goodbye. we we are living in the luckiest country on the planet. So. Good luck with some of the best real estate in the world and we're bringing it all to you here on GPTV. I'm Gary Pierce. I'm Philip Kingston. Thanks again for watching. Bye now.